Hello, Justin. Nice to meet you in cyberspace. This will be some video feedback uh, for all of week three as well as the uh, week four one wireframe discussion. And uh, this will be covering milestone one. So <clears throat> it covers a lot. Um, I go by the rubric. So if you want, you can open up the rubric for each of these uh, assignments and then just follow uh, along because um, I usually you know, cover each rubric topic. Uh, Justin, you, you know, these, these are just fine. Um, I did say, I think, that pencil was sometimes the best way to sketch because it allows you to generate uh, a lot of uh, images quickly when you're scanning them. I think in general, you know, keeping your navigation at the top uh, is a good idea, um, along with the, uh, the logo. This is, this is uh, probably the, the first part of the page that is seen is up is the upper part. Uh, try to keep your vertical depth down. Remember too that you know sometimes your page will be seen this in this portrait format, but many other times on desktops, for example, it'll be seen uh, horizontally. So as you get things mounted on your web server, uh, here's a little something that might entertain you. Start to look at your web pages on your cell phone, and uh, tell me what uh, or tell the class you know perhaps what differences you note. So in general, um, I would uh, go with one of these that uh, where the navigation is kept towards the top. You can have a range down the size too, but you know you want to make sure that the viewer sees all of the navigation on the first screen. And if they have to scroll to get around the site, it adds an extra step, I guess, best way of saying it. And then two, I like them <coughs> where um, you have just you know a single or several images. So keep, keep it uh, simple. Think about bleeding the images wherever possible off the left and right side of the page. Justin, I'm, I'm working backwards here a little bit. Um, this is your 3.3 submission <coughs> where you show me that you've been able to upload it as well as uh, apply some formatting to the, uh, to the heads. And I see that you've done that. You've used the corporate color, at least one of them, to, uh, to color one of your heads. I'm taking a look at your code here too. It looks pretty cleanly um, coded, and you're using or calling upon the corporate typeface, which is Athelus. Uh, so good job. I see some commenting here, too, uh, probably from last week, right? It's always good to uh, comment because uh, when you pick this up after having been away for a while, you can sort of uh, fill yourself in on what what you need to do, perhaps. You, you know, this is a good place to say uh, this anticipates such and such copy or or content. Um, so good, good going on that. You've met both of the rubric uh, topics and you've been able to upload your file. Uh, Justin, this is superior too, and I see that you've done exactly what I uh, suggested you doing. That is, doing two diagrams, one of your file management, and then one of your uh, your site map. Now, one other thing um, about this, the rubric asks for a coded sitemap, and that's an unordered list that will become your um, navigation scheme on your web page. That is, you know, all the links at the top. So I don't see that here. Um, I'm, I'm not alarmed or concerned, and I think if you reread Chapter 2 of HTML5 five Foundations, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. But make sure that you have a coded uh, sitemap, even if the links are to dummy pages. Hope that makes sense. Uh, but all else looks great. Did you understand that this is your domain, and uh, this this is you know, these are subdirectories? Um, when I'm looking at your mounted website, I'm seeing that uh, we have this misspelling in your name, but no biggie. At least no, just as long as you're aware of it. This part of the Safari screen, when I look at it in developer mode, uh, is would give me an idea of your file structure, at least of all the files that are public. And I'm not seeing that, so I'm just curious how you have it organized uh, on your GeoCities. And hope that you'll be able to upload images. Um, but good going, lots of great progress here, and you met the uh, requirements of the rubric for formatting. Uh, Justin, you've addressed the discussion prompts of the rubric um, or the of the assignment methodically, 
And <clears throat> I think, you know, just um, hitting the streets to physically go size up the competition and see what's going on in, in the immediate area. Uh, <laughs> You know, I think that's the first time I've heard that suggestion, and that it's one of the ones that makes the most sense, right? So kudos to you um, on, you know, sort of figuring out, scoping out in person what the demographics might be. Um, from that, you know, we give rise to questions you might ask the client. You might also consider, you know, uh, including kitchen staff uh, on your, in your focus group. Uh, they have a valuable point of view. No matter what situation you are in, think of ways to, um, make your focus group complete and uh, that will be useful you know for the restaurant in the end or your client in the end think about uh, research of technological tools <clears throat> that are under our nose for example um, there is uh, the US Census and there's also uh, Nielsen some of these you have to pay money for for data um, as well as Google Analytics as being you know, one of the more technological ones so think about that, um, ways to, that you can research uh, demographics, other issues, uh, using the tools of the web. SurveyMonkey is a very popular one. It's easy to set up surveys uh, for um, a wide audience. Good going. I look forward to seeing how uh, your website um, shapes up. I think the next hurdle for you is to devise a navigation scheme um, that is developed from an unordered list of your links.